Hi guys, I'm back. In this video, I'm going to do an FAQ on a new product called Keto Essential Aminos. Very, very interesting product. And I want to talk about it. So what are amino acids? Okay. Well, they are the building blocks that make proteins. And there are eight essential amino acids. There is also non-essential amino acids, but those could be made from the eight essential amino acids. And these amino acids are in a very exact and specific ratio. And there's no binders or anything. We just put them together as amino acids. Now, the big question is, what's so unique about this versus, I don't know, consuming some chicken or beef or fish or even eggs? That's what I want to talk about. This product gets 99% absorbed, okay? Only 1% of it is waste. If we take a look at other proteins, breast milk, which is 49% absorbed. So basically, you're almost getting half of the breast milk being absorbed by the body. The rest is either waste or used as fuel. Eggs, 48% utilization. Meat and fish, 32% absorption. You would think it'd be a lot more, but it's not. Whey protein and soy protein, than 1%. So the stomach doesn't have to break down the protein, number one. The small intestines don't have to use enzymes to break it down. They can just pull it right in like a rocket ship. It gets absorbed in 23 minutes. Now, there's a lot of research behind this specific blend on what it can do for building proteins and also for repair and recovery. This product is mainly a recovery product. If you want more repair, and if you're deficient in amino acids, it's gonna be really beneficial for uh, rebuilding structural parts of your body, tendon, ligament, muscle. Enzymes are all Now, are they keto friendly? Are they gonna raise your insulin? No because it's all being absorbed in the body as either repair or some structural purpose. So nothing is used as fuel versus some of these proteins which have calories that can raise insulin. The calories from this product are so insignificant, they're not gonna affect your blood sugars or insulin levels because your body is basically using them. Okay, so I wanna show you a couple things. Amino acid pathways. When you eat a protein, whether it's a piece of meat, fish, chicken, it goes through a catabolic pathway. That's a breakdown. It has to be broken down by the stomach, and then it has to be broken down in the small intestine with certain enzymes. Most of the amino acids are supposed to be absorbed in the small intestine and not end up in the large bowel. The problem is that you get amino acids from these proteins, but you also get a lot of waste that the kidney and the liver have to deal with. Not to mention some of it's turned into sugar and used in fuel. Now we have something called the anabolic pathway, which is building things up, okay? Means in detoxification. Certain proteins that are defense mechanisms to help your immune system. Now the cool thing about this product is that there's no waste and it's 100% anabolic which compared to other proteins have to go through this uh, catabolic process. So who would need this product, okay? Well, if you had a protein deficiency, and the symptoms for that would be weakness, low endurance, hair loss, weak nails. If you get sick, these amino acids when I'm fasting. You could take them about a half hour before you work out. You can take them after you work out, but I don't recommend taking them with a meal because they can compete with the protein that you're consuming. So anyway, I put a link down below for more information. Check it out and let me know how you like it. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now 
and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.